Here we're going to look at a nice little arithmetic puzzle. So let's say we've got some natural numbers a and b, and by natural numbers I mean positive integers, and we have the following inequality. So we've got 2019 over 2020 is less than a over b, which is less than 2020 over 2021, and our goal is to find the smallest possible value of a plus b. So there's actually kind of a well-known operator that will solve this in general pretty quickly, but we're gonna do this from scratch. And I think that will give you kind of the idea for how to define this operator. All right, so let's maybe go ahead and get to it. So let's say our inequality up here is satisfied. So we've got 2019 over 2020 is less than A over B, which is less than 2020 over 2021. And what I wanna do is do some arithmetic operations on this inequality to create equivalent inequalities. So the first thing that I'll do is take the reciprocal of this inequality, and by the reciprocal of the inequality, this reciprocal of all parts of the inequality. But let's recall that when we take the reciprocal, we change the order of inequality. So that means now we'll have 2021 over 2020 is less than B over A, which is less than 2020 over 2019, like that. And why did we do that? Well, now we can subtract one from all parts of this inequality. Maybe, why would we wanna subtract one from all parts of the inequality? Well, notice that each of these guys that are like hugging B over A are very, very close to one. So maybe subtracting one will like simplify the whole thing. So let's maybe go ahead and do that. So notice that that inequality up there is equivalent to by subtracting one to, well, what do we get if we do 2021 over 2020 minus one? Well, one is 2020 over 2020. So that's gonna give us one over 2020 is less than B over A minus one, which is less than one over 2019. So there I just subtracted one from all parts of this. Now next, I wanna maybe notice that one can be written as A over A, which means this thing in the middle can be written as B minus A over A. And that's actually how we're gonna to wanna to write it. Okay, but now we can maybe simplify this even a little bit more. Notice the left and the right hand parts of this inequality are fairly simple. We've got one over 2020 and one over 2019. But maybe if we took the reciprocal, then we'd have an inequality with only whole numbers. So let's do that. But again, taking the reciprocal will change the order of this inequality. So we'll have 2019, so the biggest thing becomes the smallest thing, will be less than the reciprocal of this middle part. But like we just calculated, this middle part is equal to B minus A over A. So now we'll have A over B minus A which is less than, well, the reciprocal of this will be 2020. Good. Next, we wanna get some sort of idea on bounds for each part of this fraction. In other words, the numerator and the denominator. So let's see how we can do that. Let's expand this out here. And I wanna recall from my original inequality up here, we know that A over B has gotta be less than one. How do we know it's less than one? Well, 2020 over 2021 is less than one. But then the fact that A over B is less than one, that tells us that B has to be strictly bigger than A, but that means that B is bigger than or equal to A plus one. In other words, B minus A is bigger than or equal to one. Okay, but now we can argue that the bottom part of this inequality is impossible. So let's notice if B minus A equals one, that means we've got a denominator of one here, but that tells us that 2019 is strictly less than A, which is strictly less than 2020. So what we've done is we've found A between 2019 and 2020, but recall that A is a natural number but there are no natural numbers between those two whole numbers. So that provides us with a contradiction of this possibility for B minus A to be equal to one. 
So we can summarize that over here by noticing that B minus A must be bigger than or equal to two. So again, B minus A was bigger than or equal to one because of this original condition. And then because of that setup over there, we've got that one is impossible. So B minus A has to be bigger than or equal to two. But now if B minus A is bigger than or equal to two, that tells us that A has to be bigger than or equal to two times 2019 plus one. So let's maybe talk our way through that. So it has to be bigger than or equal to two times 2019 because we want this fraction to be bigger than 2019. But then we need to add one to it because we do not want to be equal to 2019. So if we left off this one, we would have a strict inequality, but maybe we don't want a strict inequality in this case because we're zooming in on the smallest possible value. Okay, so we've got A is bigger than or equal to that object. But now we can calculate that pretty easily. That is 4,039. Now next, we can put this inequality into this inequality. So let's see what that gives us. So this into this, let's see, that's gonna give us that B is bigger than or equal to A plus two, but that is equal, but that is, bigger than or equal to 4,041. Okay, so let's see, we've got A is bigger than or equal to 4,039, and B is bigger than or equal to 4,041, but that tells us that A plus B must be bigger than or equal to 4,039 plus 4,041, but notice that that is 8,080. So if A plus B has to be bigger than or equal to 8,080, then that means the minimum of A plus B is 8,080. And you might say, well, when do we actually get to this minimum value? Or when do we achieve this minimum value? And we achieve this minimum value when A equals 4,039 and B equals 4,041. And by all of this construction, we know that that will place A over B between these two fractions as needed. And that's a good place to stop.